All right, everything looks like it's working just fine tonight. So, <clears throat> hello everyone, and welcome back to Spooky Month. <laughs> All right. Um. Anyway, welcome to fucking Spooks done quick. Um. That's what I'm calling the Wednesday things because we're playing short games. Make and I've got a, right. I've got a couple fucking short people to chat with me. Um, Delta's not that short. I mean, yeah. you're short I'm enough. Vulcan, actually, I'm yeah, I'm, I'm the shortness for this group. Yeah. Yeah, you're, wait, that still wait, counts. Guys, have you? Totally irrelevant. Have you guys heard of uh, your favors in Weezer? What? Yes. It's, it's it's a Twitter account where they just Photoshop people onto Tweezer's onto Weezer's Blue album. Yeah, my favorite one is Weezing is in Weezer. Oh fuck! My favorite is the Aquabats have replaced Weezer in its entirety, and it's just the blue. <laughs> it's just the Aquabats just Photoshop onto a blue background. It's fucking. It's fucking amazing. It, it's wonderful. I love the Aquabats. Hold on, I need more light. Anyways, how about the Sandman? It's Sandman. Wait. There's nothing to worry about. It's only a monster moaning in the closet. But, but that's something to worry about. What the fuck? No, it's not. Shh. Hee <laughs> 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 hee. <laughs> Just kidding. Just like that? Hmm. You're still not sleepy, are you? Then I'll tell you a scary story. Fuck. Uh, I need a slight. I need like a slight amount more light. Kenny, they're gonna make sushi on this one, and I'm so excited. Of course you are. That should be better. Yeah, that's better. The oh so terrifying story of the Sandman. I'm a ginger girl, I guess. Morning already. Oh, I can't walk with Wadst. Hello, I'd like to put on my clothes, please. Thank you. I am a cute, innocent schoolgirl. Need the fuck. But I am! Look at me! <laughs> look at me! <laughs> no thanks. You don't want to look at the cute character on the game? I know. Oh, that's not you though. That's, that's a cute character on Dear the game. Dear Sophie, Papa will be staying at work for a while. Enough money to kick, take care of yourself for now. Lock the doors and don't leave the stove on. Also, Sister Mary from the school called for me to see her. Did you do something bad? I'm too busy to go, so tell her for me. Three. Sophie. Eh. TV hasn't been used in a while. There's not a lot of food in the fridge. There's still bread in the toaster. It's not even toasted. Apparently Sophie forgot to toast the bread yesterday. I found the bathroom. It's got a bathtub. And a toilet. Why is the fucking toilet paper so high up? You can't even reach that. Uh, I'm assuming this is my dad's room. Also, by the way, yes, that is the game. Kenny. What is the game? Harvester. Oh, uh, okay. I recommend it wholly. Uh, Dev, take a look at it, because you're my... You're my fucking... What game? Sorry, I turned you guys down so I could hear the show. It's a game called Harvester? <laughs> All one word, you can find it on uh, Steam. It's old, but it is a wild ride. Six bucks. Yeah, you know Kenny, I'm gonna put that where I didn't have a game. Fair enough. Also, they're making fun of me for having red hair. Yeah, you fucking ginger. Wait. Actually, hold on. I gotta check this out to see if it actually. Sorry. Of course, I got tripped. I think it has like very close to nudity, but it doesn't actually have any. Like, it, the frame looks like it's gonna show it, but it doesn't. I gotta look into it to make sure. Sophie! 
Why the fuck are you following me? Um, about Regan, try not to let it get to you. They're not worth, worth responding to anyway, it's fine. Regan? Is this Mob Psycho? I wonder why Regan teaches you so much. Must be hard just being her. I'm the only outlet for her stress. Um, well, I'm on your side, okay, Sophie? How nice, and you're always, um, watching me. Well, we're friends. I, I don't really have any friends but you. I need to see Sister Mary. See you later. Okay, bye! Man, I can't wait to see that my friend got the shit kicked out of him. It's probably what's gonna happen. Knock, knock. Come in. Welcome, Miss Grundler. Grundler? That just sounds inappropriate. Anyway, please take a seat. Miss Grundler, you showed great improvement on your last exam. I'm truly motivated, moved by your diligence. You've always been a calm model student. I'm hoping to see you keep it up. I'll have to tell the principal as well. Thank you very much. By the way, Miss Grundler, have you resolved what we discussed before? Did we talk? My, did you forget? You told me you were worried about your recent lack of sleep. Oh yeah, so I did. Sorry, I'm spacing out. I forgot. It's no good. I just can't sleep. I get in bed and try to doze off, but I just find myself up until morning. How long have you been sleepless? In Seattle. Huh. Instead of cooking this time, they just had to get the right ingredients. That's interesting. It's time to pray to Lord Jesus. Let's go, Jesus. Excuse me, I gotta go pray to Jeebus. Why is light given to those in misery and life to the bitter of soul? To those who long for death that does not come, who search for it more than hidden, than for hidden treasure, who are filled with gladness and rejoice when they reach the grave. Why is life given to a man whose way is hidden, whom God has hedged in? For sighing has become my daily food. My groans pour out like water. What I feared has come upon me. What I dreaded has happened to me. I'm fucking dead. Uh, I have no peace, no quietness. I have no rest. Only turmoil. Uh, fuck. Kenny, why the fuck are you dead? I don't know! I'm not dead yet. Uh, job was a man, honest and enduring justice. But as we all know, that does not ensue, ensure that disaster will not befall us. Yes. Through calamity, he saw the truth. The truth that not everything could go swimmingly, though you may be too young to have such experience. Get it? Um, trust in the ways of the Lord and endure your hardship. Just believe in Jesus. He'll help you. Anyway, that's my sermon. <laughs> Follow me on Twitter and Instagram at Sister Mary. What? Sister, Sister Mary Catherine? No, that's too long. It's it's Sister with an A, Mary C. I should shower and get to bed. Your favorite teddy bear. Just wash so he's nice and fluffy. Well, if I remember anything of how these games went last time. Just, uh... Oh, God. God, I look awful. Bags under my eyes. The works. Because I haven't slept for days, I'm sure. Why can't I sleep? I just want to sleep soon. I'll know, sister. Mr. Sandman, sister bring me your memes. Boom, 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 boom. I'm so tired. I'm going to bed. I've got a feeling I can't sleep because the Sandman keeps trying to kill me. The Sandman. A prayer before bed, huh? Didn't I always do that when Mom was here? Now I lay me down to sleep. Oh, it's and voiced. Pray, my soul to keep. And if I die before I wake. The Lord I pray my soul to take. I'm scared. Hold on. I'm, I'm gonna adjust this, because I already can tell that it's a little too loud. At least for me. Stupid. If that could put me to sleep, I would have done it by now. I closed my eyes. I heard something like tapping on a glass. Something's weird. 
What happened to the clock? The wall clock stopped at midnight. Weird, I just changed the battery. Is it broken or what? The clock stopped at 12.2. What's this about? I can hear my dad sleeping. Why do I hear a l loud snoring? Up. Oh. It's the old guy from next door. What happened here? He he's sleeping? Why out in the hall in the dead of night? Wait, maybe. Did he trip in his head? Oh no, I have to call an ambulance. Why do I feel like this is gonna kill me? Why? Why won't they answer? It's a 911 call. If I can't get through to them, what am I supposed to glean from that? Uh, oh, I need to go tell his wife. Excuse me, I'm the Grundler girl from next door. Your husband's fainted in the hall. Excuse me, are you there, miss? Huh? It's not locked. It's wide open. With arms wide open. Miss? Miss, get up, please. What happened? She, she's asleep, too. What's going on? Something's weird here for sure. It's usually pretty noisy at night. Why is it so quiet tonight? Should for my house this would be my room, but I shouldn't go in here. It's sort of breaking and entering, isn't it? Shouldn't go in here. What if I just go back to bed? I'm just gonna go back to bed. Can I can I go back to bed? I'm not allowed to go back to bed. Dad! Oh wait, yeah, you're not gonna be around for a while. Um, I'm gonna go outside, I guess. What the fuck? This random purse is asleep on the ground. Why are they sleeping like that? What the hell is happening? Is is anyone else awake? The cafe is locked up tight. There's a map of the town. Got a town map. Is there a... Okay. Cell phone, notebook, town map. All right. So that's the high school, that's the field, 712. I'm going to assume that bubble in the middle is me. So I'm going to save real quick. Because, yeah, we've only been playing for 14 minutes. But, like, at this point, nothing's safe. Nothing is safe. You're absolutely correct, Kenny. All right. Front door of an apartment, it's locked up tight. I guess the real question is where the fuck do I go? Well, I got a cutscene going to the middle of town. This just gets weirder and weirder. All the people I've seen are asleep on the street. What the world is going on? Oh fuck. Wait, what did she get for winning? What Yume Nikki clone is this? It's... I don't think it's a Yume Nikki clone, Adam. But, yeah. Sophie. Ah! Oh, it's a cute anime boy. Ah, so it is you. D David? David, why are you here? I was doing overtime, but when I left to go home, things looked weird. It's like everyone just fell asleep on the spot. I got worried, so I took a look around, and then I found you. You okay, Sophie? Not hurt or anything? N nah, I'm fine, but I have no clue how this happened. Yeah, me neither. Why would, I why would everybody hit the hay? I wonder if we're the only ones awake. Who could say? Maybe some are awake inside. Wake me up inside! <laughs> Can't wake up. Wake me up inside! Safe! Alright, well. Sure! Oh, hold on. Hmm? What? My friend. My friend Anne. She lives in the dorms at school. You want to see her? If Anne's awake, I'm sure she's scared since she's pretty timid. I want to go look for her. Well, friends are important after all. I'll go with you. You can't, David. It's an all-girls school. All right. Catholic school. Yeah, no boys allowed, huh? Except no. Because seriously? That doesn't matter right now. It could be dangerous. Let me go with you. 
I'm fine. I can do it myself. I go there every day. It's not like I'd get lost, even though I definitely will, because I don't know how to actually get there. All right, all right, if you insist. Fine on your own, huh? I'll look around elsewhere, and we'll meet up later. Come to the park once you find your friend, okay? Yeah, I got it. Sophie. Don't do anything rash. If anything happened to you, I'd, you know, be sad. That's it. I would do nothing else except for be sad. Dot, dot, dot. Well, I got the achievement, The Crooked Man. Which is not the game we're playing. I think The Crooked Man is the one I played last time? I believe that's the first in the series, yes. Well, that's in the inside. I it's believe it goes Crooked Man, Sandman, Boogeyman, and then another one? I think there's like three or four, yeah. Yeah, Crooked Man, Sandman, Boogeyman, and fuck. Maybe I can find a ladder somewhere. Where would I find a ladder this time of night? I found guns. I got a ladder. I don't know how I knew that that was going to be the way to go to get the ladder, but I got the ladder. Uh, hey, look, guys, I'm breaking into the high school with a ladder. It's now the Church of Latter day Saints. Won't open. Huh. How can I get in? I don't know, girl. There's a shovel stuck in the flower bed. Got a shovel. Am I supposed to Got a shovel? Am I supposed to break the door open or something? What the fuck? <laughs> Items. Shovel. Man, should I really? Well, it is an emergency. Yeah. Sorry, Sister Mary. Sorry, at Sister Mary C. I had to break into the school. I'll check the dorms for Anne. I don't know where the dorms are. The dorms aren't this way. Well, cool. The cafeteria is locked. Are these the dorms? Alright, well I tried all those dorms, and it wasn't any of them. Here it is, Anne's room. It's unlocked, and she's sleeping? Save. Now you might be saying, hey, why are you paranoidly saving every ten seconds? Um, couple reasons why. Mostly because if I remember this game series from last time, I remember that I could basically die at, like, almost any moment. There's something there. Some steam, maybe? Is this way to the chapel? How do I go to the chapel? Is it this way? I found the chapel. And I found my friend. Also, there was a bookmark in the Bible. Like a slave longing for the evening shadows, or a hired laborer waiting to be paid. Uh, so have I have been allotted months of futility, and nights of misery have been assigned to me. When I lie down, I think, how long before I get up? The night drags on, and I toss and turn until dawn. Job, 2, colon, or 7, colon, 2-4. And you're okay! And also awake. S Sophie? Why are you here? Things are weird in town. Everyone fell over. They're all asleep. Sister Mary's on, tw on Twitter. It's kind of weird. So I got worried about you. Come on, Aunt. Let's get out of here. 
There's a friend of mine waiting outside. Who knows what's going on, but we should stick together. No! I won't go! Wh why not? No, 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 I'm scared that they'll chase me again. They? C come on, Anne. It's fine, I didn't see any weird people. But, look, this friend of mine is a guy you can trust, and there's the fucking Devin with the cat. I wonder why! You sure? Anyway, he'll protect you even if there are weirdos, so yeah, come with me. Yeah, probably Chainsaw Lady again. Oh no! Yeah! What? what? Yamado? Wait. Where are you going, That's little okay. Miss Liar? Ah, uh, no! Not again! Oh fuck, she got cornered. Running we'll away again, are we? You really are such a liar. Liars must be punished. Damn. What? What's Kill with him. you? Get away from man! Oh, one of them turned no attention to me. Why? She's a liar, isn't she? A liar is a bad thing to be, so they must be punished. I, I don't have a clue what you mean. Just get away from man now. She's my friend. I see. Are you a liar too? Huh? Liars need punishment. Yes, extreme punishment. So we'll become liars ourselves. No! I mean, no! Hi, Toddy. Anne! Hey, where'd you take Anne? Hmm? Who knows? Y you should give back Anne! Where'd she go? Chili dogs? Why don't you look for her? Ah, oh, they kicked open all the doors. What? What? Go take a look. Find your friend. Oh, but you have plenty of time. Ah! And. Well. What do you mean I have plenty of time? I only have three minutes! I saw her on this floor. Well, they're liars. So that means she's not on this floor. Alright, what are you gonna say? She's in Sister Mary's room. Well, so she's not in Sister Mary's room. She must be in the dorms. She's not. Because they said they'll become liars too. Which means everything they say is false. Did you search the chapel? No, because you guys are liars. I think. I think. Th oh, here's the one. She's in the west side of the school. All right. So that means she's in the east side of the school. Or the north. I'm sure she's not even in the school. She's definitely in the school, you fucking sack of shit. She ran from the school. I saw her. Well, that's wrong. No need to rush, it's fine. I need to rush. I've got a minute 23, apparently. Also, how do I know that I have a minute 23? Uh... Science? I found her. Liar. You're an unbelievable liar. How can you lie with such a straight face? Uh, you should just disappear. Anne! 
Ah, she found out. Anne, are you okay? They didn't do anything weird to you. Sophie! Good. Guess you're not hurt. Anne, let's get out of here now. I'm not sure what's going on. I just know it's weird. Get up, Anne. They might come back if we don't hurry. Yeah! About that. Yeah! What? What? Liar. What are they? No. No! Wait, Ann, don't go. It's dangerous. No! No more! I'm going home! Let me go home! Ann! Let go! Ow. Uh. How can you help? Uh. Sorry, Sophie. I was scared. Um. And I'm kind of assuming she was gonna get somebody was gonna show up in red and be like liar, <laughs> but they weren't. Why? After I find you, you just run away? Fucking hell, man! <sighs> Forget about Anne. Go cower all alone if you want. All right, I got the achievement hide and seek. She hid. I suck. Soak. Seeked. Alright, do I just leave? So you solve it like that. Got it? Oh, I see. That makes sense. You really are smart, Sophie. I can't even do my own homework. I'm envious. You're always so calm and mature and smart. It's almost like you had a traumatic childhood or something. And you're even really nice, too. And if it were me Regan was bullying, I don't think I'd be brave enough to come to school. I wish I could be more like you, Sophie. The teachers always say you try your best, Dan. And I have to agree. You're way better than me. Sorry, Sophie. We're never saving you from Regan and her bullies. I want to help, but I'm too scared, so I just watch. I'm really so sorry. Look, I don't mind at all. You shouldn't either. So you shouldn't either, Anne. I'm just happy being together like this. Thanks. You're my best friend, Sophie. I'm surprised somebody didn't pop up and be like, like in my flashback, being like, liar. Sophie! Oh, David. Found anyone else awake? Nope. No good. I checked the hospital and hotel. Not a single open eye. Why do I feel like I got a bad ending because I didn't catch her? Dev, I sent you a thing. It's for Harvester. Wait a minute, the video game has an IMDB. Yeah. Well, it's possible. It's not really an IMDB, it's a different section of it. And this one is its parental guide. Hmm. Dang. There's no explicit nudity shown, so I believe it should be fine for stream. Alright. Not that any staff members would be watching your stream to begin with, but... I mean, you're not wrong. Alright, it's time for the pole dancing stream. <laughs> I'm down. I don't think anyone else is, but I'm down. Wait, what? Down for what? Pole dancing stream. Eh, sure. I mean, I can't dance. Who's pole dancing? Yeah, I was like, I'm white. Wait, these are apartments. Why am I here? I need to go to the mall. Does anybody know how to get to the mall? Like, oh my god. I just want to go shopping. I know, like, my friend is probably dead, but, like, I really want to go shopping. Alright, um... 
Okay. What, Tori? What? Alright, is this the hotel? Yes, okay, so this is the hotel. So... From the hotel... That was so cute, Riley, oh my god. I just want to go up. Riley's adorable, okay? He's just a good bean. Shopping mall. Tori, stop claw stop clawing my bed and just jump up on it. God. Not sure, but I think I need a security card if I want to open this. Huh, where could I find a security card? I don't know, maybe I love the ice cream here. Maybe I can get a sample if I go in. Maybe not the time. All right, where would I find the security key for a fucking mall? Like, maybe there's apartments nearby and a security person lives there, or like... Uh, that's all I can think of at this point. Maybe over this. Oh, there's some dust. It's dust in Elysian Tail. Cafe du Mag Maggots. The chocolate cake here is amazing. What the fuck? What? Oh, you tell me. That, that is, as the kids say, whack. 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 Wait, why am I saying that? I'm not a child. Anymore. It is now lore that Kenny was indeed once a child. I was once. I got there. Oh, that's good. Fernando Apartments. That's where David lives. I am Ferdinand von Eiger. It's I'm G Ferdinand von Eiger. First of all, I know and I love you. Screams. I am Ferdinand von Eiger. Ow. I don't even want to go near a hospital. Yeesh. Fire Emblem Three Houses, but Fernand's actually useful. Man, those kids sound fucking annoyed. Yeah. No, what in the one I'm from me? A sleepy man wears a uniform. Maybe he has a key card. Sorry, sir. Let me just search you. Please don't kill me. I got a security card. I'm getting out of the car now. It's inappropriate for a small child to be alone in a car with an old man. You're not wrong. I mean, I'm not. I guess I'm not a small child. I'm. I am a high schooler. Maybe. Uh. E one B four A two. What the fuck? Uh. Uh, E1B4A2. So that's... Is that... It's not coordinates. Because there's... A, it's a 3 by 4 grid. And two of those numbers I can't use because it's clear and enter. Um... Time to pull up my cell phone. Because I'm pretty sure it's supposed to be like the way the words line up on the text pad. So... E one B four A two. Nope, that was wrong. Somebody, somebody, body, body. What if it's like three ones like that? 
eight four four two. Yeah, like if it's like the way if the ones that look the most similar, I guess. Yeah. Three one eight four four two. No, it's not that. So maybe five one two four one two. Nope. E one B four A two. Maybe there's like something else I can line that up with. Oh, I had to look at the security card. So E one B four and A two. So E one is twenty four. B4 is 19, and A2 is 17, so 24, 19, 17. And there we go. Ladies and gentlemen, we're in there. We in there? We in there. A big stuffed Blum Bear, mascot of the mall. He's holding a sign. Welcome to Blumberg's Shopping Mall, a wonderland for everything from shopping to dining to movies. Have yourself a good old time. This bear always creeps me out. My teddy's so much cuter. Uh, there's a doll directly in the path of up, which makes me think that I'm not allowed to go up. Or that it's going to try and kill me. You know, one of the only two logical steps. Uh, okay, the shutters are down at the tailors, so I can't do anything there. A vending machine. Uh, I'm going to save because I've made progress. A public phone. I almost read that as pubic, I'm going to be honest. <laughs> A drink machine. Another drink machine. And another drink machine. And a menu. What the? A doll? Some kid must have forgotten it. Ah, fuck. D that freaked me out. It lasts when you touch the stomach. Got a doll. Y'all ready to hear a doozy of a sentence? Yes. And they understand time. What has happened before is somewhere still always happening. And what will happen is happening now. What the fuck? I mean... That, that, yes. That is accurate. Creepy as fuck, but accurate. What has happened before is somewhere still always happening. Yep. And what will happen is happening now. Yeah. What the fuck, Richard? A sign for the movie being show. Can you do the horror? You'll just have to hide and see. I hate <laughs> horror movies. Even the commercial for this was scary. I wish they'd stop playing it at night. A sign for a movie being show. A digital remaster of the immortal classic. Kenny got his gun. Hey, I've seen this. I think it was a war movie. Kind of scary. But it's cool to see it back at theaters. A blum bear wearing 3D glasses. See Dragon Hunter in real 3D. Make sure you buy your 3D glasses. Can you at least offer glasses for free? Aside from a movie being show, Tragic First Love. Won't you remember it again? Your girl. God, I hate love stories. They're just blatant lies. Aside for a movie. The long-awaited movie for the hit game, Dragon Hunter. Huh, I've played this game before. Not that I could get anywhere, though. I don't stand a chance against a huge dragon. Come on. It's a staff only, so I can't go there. At least I'm assuming. Alright, that's the elevator and the emergency stairs, so I can't do anything there. Uh, time to slip into theater A, I guess? Time to watch the show? I've got a feeling I'm going to have to go back in there. Theater B, maybe? I hear voices. Someone's in there. Oh, fuck. So soldiers with helmets and guns? H hold on. They're on the stage. 
Regan, why is she there? Listen up, maggots. It's time to give this messy her due. What's that, maggots? Say it again. I do like the fact that they literally say, sir, yes, sir. Hey, what's going on here? Untie me this instant. Like, fuck. Quiet. Fuck. <laughs> Quiet, Missy. We've had enough of your squawking. Squawk? Am, am I understood? This Missy must be punished as an example. <laughs> Imagine you have this child tied up. And she's like, what are you doing? Untie me this instant. Like, what the fuck, bro? <laughs> <laughs> Shit, dude, fuck. <laughs> Answer me, recruits. Oh, How do we punish the gal? Well. Firing squad! <laughs> that's right. Okay, that's Looks like you experience. do know a thing or two. The execution will be in 30 minutes. No one come near her until then. And let no one into the building. Find one you fill with more holes than a beehive. No, no, no. Somebody, like, help? What are you standing around for? Get moving, maggots! Codex oh no, they're coming this way. I have to hide. Oh, I didn't even get to choose where. It just sent me to the staff-only room. What? Well, what was that? Those aren't real soldiers, are they? Soldiers wouldn't do that. Why did they capture Regan? And why are they trying to kill her? I don't get it at all. I have to help her. She just might get killed if I leave her be. Although, if you think about it, the guy said the execution will happen in 30 minutes, and the clocks haven't moved. So basically what I'm saying is... It's not going to happen. It, it might not happen. It might not happen. We don't fucking know. But Why? You know. Uh, hi, Regan. 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 Selfie? Why are you here? Quiet, they'll notice us. I'll untie the ropes. God, they're way too tight. Hold on, I'll find something to cut these. Colonel, these ropes are tight. They're not as tight as your ass, Snake. Yeah, because I'm dummy thick. I should probably... Wait, hold on. Maybe I can alert the guard into coming closer by clapping my ass cheeks. Clap, then clap, clap. I'll hit him with my thick thighs and knock him out. Alright, what if I go this way? There's stationery in the drawers. I got cutters. I want these grimoires, but uh, Bungie is doing a fucking number on me with shipping. Of course. Reagan, I brought cutters. I'll cut the ropes now. Quick, no, I mean, hurry they're... up. Their a cal I think their store base is Cal uh California. Oh, Regan's so super cute. It's kind of a fucking bitch with shipping, and the books themselves are kind of expensive too. I mean, are you surprised? It's fucking Bungie. I mean, yeah. <sighs> Sorry, I did not and mean to be yawning. Wow, Kenny, how dare you yawn? And they also technically do they they like need the money because they're they're a solo company now. I mean, fair enough. Ah, oh, fuck! Are you kidding me? That's that's surprising. I just checked Twitter for a quick second. Not many other people could pull off. Listen here, you piece of shit. <laughs> Not many people could probably pull it off. Haha. <laughs> Aha! Man, Regan, you are a useless child. Flashback. Why are you crying, Regan? Papa, Mama! Wait, hold on. How do I make a bitchy voice but for a small child? Papa! Papa, Mama! Fighting again! 
Ah! Well, she's well, like. It doesn't sound bitchy, that's well, for sure. She's crying, so I'm going to say I it's know. that. Papa was yelling, and Papa was crying. I'm too scared to go back home. Ah! I'm blonde. Hey, vegan. <laughs> My mama's dead, you know. Why'd she die? She was shot by Ben Cropper, Cropper or something. Uh, so I don't have a mom. It's just me and Papa. But I don't cry. I have to keep going even without a mom. If I cry, Papa would worry, right? So you shouldn't cry, Regan. If you cry, you're a crybaby. Do you want to be a crybaby, Regan? No. I don't want to be a crybaby. I just want to be a fucking bitch. Then play with me. Your mom and dad should get along again soon. We can play until then. Okay. Five don't, years later. Just don't call me a crybaby. <laughs> I'm going to bully you in high school for this. Wow. Wow. I hope Kenny's not making up dialogue. <laughs> crybaby. <laughs> what? I said you're a crybaby. Ah! I said you. I said you're a crybaby. You act oh, so exactly. high and mighty, bullying people, but then on, you can't do worry. a thing by yourself. You fucking crybaby. I got you for that line. Let me just put more enthusiasm into it. <laughs> Blah. <laughs> <laughs> Blah. S say say that again. Why don't you? Blah. Crybaby. I'll say it again <laughs> and again. Oh, crybaby. You have a <laughs> Fuck it. <laughs> <laughs> you haven't changed once since five minutes ago, Delta. You're useless without your mommy to help. <laughs> Even you're bullying. You just use me to take out your stress when things don't go well at home. Alright, wait a minute. Hold Shut, up. <laughs> Shut up! You say that like I need you. First of all, you and me, completely different. You're just jealous, no mom, and your dad abandons you. You're jealous because nobody will save you. But that's not... My papa may be trash, but mama loves me. Right, right this papa, second, she's worried about me. Garbage. I'm sure she'll come look for me soon, and nobody will come look for you, so don't lump yourself with me. Sophie, punch her. Punch her In now. The In the throat. Right now. Uh, look, look I'm sorry. So what? You're just going to sit here for your mom until the soldiers come kill you? Sorry, but that's not my idea of a plan. I'm going to stay out of their sight and run. What about you? Fine, I'll come with. But how do you expect to escape? I don't know, but it's dark. I'm sure there's a way to avoid being seen. We'll do something. Time to save. <laughs> Alright. I'm an adult virgin. Ah. I'm an adult virgin. Ah, Ow. this doesn't help me. I was like, oh, this is going to be the super smart strat, and I'll be out of here just fine. Nope. Whoa. Blah. Blah. You got a boyfriend? I bet he doesn't kiss you. Blah. <laughs> what the fuck? I didn't even have a choice. I got shot immediately. Actually, I think they made a mistake here. Hmm. Oh, I got a fucking cardboard box. Items. Cardboard box. <sighs> 
that's ton of soldiers. Tons of soldiers. What? What's the plan now? We're not making it outside like this. <sighs> Be quiet. Maybe I can distract them somehow. I know exactly what to do. Take off the Wow, box. this kid, kind of a sore loser. He's claiming that he only lost because of tag. All right, Regan, quick, let's run for it. Yark! Uh-oh. Get up, Regan, run! You fucking idiot! Let's go, idiot. What? We did it. We escaped. Ah! Oh, fuck! They're watching oh, us. Heck. Regan, run. We gotta keep going. Get back to the park that we keep t saying we're gonna meet up in for absolutely no reason. Regan? <laughs> we did it, Regan. I think we lost them. Re Regan? Regan? Wh where'd you go? Don't tell me she fell behind. I know I was running for my life, but I thought we were together. Now what? I have to find her, but David might be waiting. Okay, I'll have David help. I'm sure the two of us can find her. Stealth mission. Snake? Snake? Snocky. Snocky. Yo, what up, David? David! You have to help! Well, what's the hurry? Regan! An old friend of mine, she... She might be killed by soldiers. Please, help me look for Regan. She might be killed if we don't find her and... And Anne, too. What if... Sophie, calm down. What in the world happened? Well, fuck, I don't know, man. Saving Private Ryan came out of the screen. And then they were gonna kill this girl. And... <laughs> Sophie, what's wrong? I don't know. I'm on my knees. <laughs> Sophie, take a break. You're pushing yourself too much. It's okay. I'll listen. But first, you need to calm down. Okay. Can I at least sit on the swing set? No, I have to sit on the bench with you. Fine. Suspicious soldiers. What could that be about? Is the army getting involved in this? I don't think they're real soldiers. I mean, it's too weird. Why send a high school girl to a firing squad? <laughs> Yeah, I'm really at a loss here. But I'm sure your friend's your friend is fine. I haven't seen any shadows or soldiers like you saw. Maybe they just can't go outside. You made it out with her, right? So she should be fine. Don't worry yourself sick. At any rate, take a break. You shouldn't push it. I know that's what I always say. Sorry for always worrying you, David. Hey, don't bother about me. I'll just be happy if you don't do anything rash. I have a rash? Hey, no, Sophie. Uh, I really am worried for you, you know. You always seem pained ever since we met. Especially since you keep trying to pretend you have a rash. I don't know. Now we're gonna go to the flashback. A rash back? No, flashback. <laughs> Sophie, let's go have lunch. Yeah, give me a sec. Huh? What's wrong? I thought I had five bucks in my wallet. Did I drop it somewhere? Hey, look, girls, I've just found a fiver. Oh, really? Talk about lucky, Regan. Guess I am. I suppose some doofus dropped it. I'm going to splurge on dessert today. Uh, um, Sophie, I've got some allowance money. I can pay for lunch today. Oh, I don't, I don't I want lunch. I don't want lunch. It's 8.56 at night. Why would I want lunch? Wait, what? Man, I'm hungry. I knew I should have had Anne get me lunch. Maybe I have enough for ice cream? Now I want ice cream. Mm, this new ice cream is great. Maybe this is a stroke of luck after all. No! My ice cream! Whoa, so sorry. I wasn't looking. Are you okay? Are you hurt? I'm emotionally hurt because you dropped my ice cream. Oh, your ice cream. Uh, I'm sorry, I'll pay for it. Did you get on your clothes? Are you okay? It's fine. It's just ice cream. Sorry for bumping into you. But, um, 
Do you mind me asking something? Are things going okay for you? You look really pale. I'm just tired and I'm always pale. I'm really fine, so please don't worry. You don't need to pay for the ice cream either. Uh. Well, oh, look. Oh, okay, I'm back. Welcome back. Uh, so, Kenny, by the way, if you want me to, because it, it is only seven bucks and I am unsure if it has, like, nudity or not, I can get, I can grab Harvester and just do a quick run through of it. I mean, up to you, fam. Do you want to take the chance? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's either I take the chance or I float you seven dollars so you can buy the game. No, I mean, I I'd buy the game anyway. It's fine. I just, I just want you to be able to play it. Fair enough. I, from what I remember seeing of the game, think of like 70s, like, you know those t style of video games where it's like very low frame character walk, point and click, but like when there's a cutscene, it's a literal recorded video. Like it has like actors and everything. Hmm. That's that old. That's that's what we're talking about here. <laughs> and it's it's like think of all the old stereotypes used to be given to people, and it's fucking hilarious. Hmm. One of the stereotypes, which was my personal favorite, was a firehouse, but all of the people there are gay, so no one calls the firefighters. Fuck! I knew it. So, does that mean I get a veteran's discount? Yes. Nice. I like how they were just talking really calmly, and then all of a sudden you're just like, you just hear fucking Gordon Ramsay. SIXTY SECONDS REMAINING! <laughs> Sorry! That's <laughs> no, funny, they're just like, he's making banana scallops. It's so interesting that he just comes up with this. SIXTY SECONDS REMAINING! <laughs> like They were actually talking about Nathan's macaroons, but... I don't know, man, it's just, it's still fucking jarring. <laughs> yeah. Da -da 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 -da. Dev, I need you to do me a favor. Depends what the favor is. You know that water I gave you? Yeah. I need you to bring it here. Why? You need to drink the water. I need to hydrate. Okay, but what if I told you that it's basically empty? Is there still water in it? <sighs> There's Mine. only gamer girl pee. I just need some source of water. Because all I have around me right now is... Cran raspberry. That's a way of staying hydrated. Uh. Also, stream. Remember to drink. This is a threat. Yeah, the the rest of you be better than me and drink water. I'm just gonna have a swig of cran raspberry juice. <sighs> I love it, but it's definitely not hydrating. Sorry, Kenny. That's okay. I should have been smart and filled up my mug before stream, but uh, I was... You uh, mean Tori's mug? My <laughs> mug! <laughs> it could be Tori's mug if you buy me another one. Nah. Whatever one you're using that physically has water in it, you know Tori's going for. Fair enough. Your dad works at J.P. Gordon and Chase, right? That just sounds like... Th it sounds like the three kids in like an 80s sitcom. Mm. J.P. Gordon and Chase. David! I really hate the fact that this uh, mystery box was fucking bananas. <laughs> 
Man, I can't believe Sophie's so oblivious that she doesn't realize that David's just literally in love with her. Not me. Well, she was just like, is there anyone important that you need to check on and make sure they're okay? And he's like, nope, I'm glad if you're safe. Employee of the Muck, Chuck Filer. Oh, fuck. Anyway, thanks for thanks for coming back to the Velvet Room, Def. It's it's not me do it's me sharing that I've been subscribed for eleven months and I'm on a two month streak apparently, even though I've definitely been subbed for more than two months like in a row. <laughs> Re who wait, is there somebody dead on the ground? No, they're all sleeping. Have you not been fucking paying oh. attention? I mean, I have, but I was hoping for, you know, no, death. No, no one is dead. Everyone's literally just on the ground sleeping. A robot yeah. has been hit and killed by a self-driving car, a Tesla in Las Vegas. Perfect, the wear car situation is finally getting underway. Detroit become yeah. human. Yeah. Devin, what the fuck? What did Devin do this time? She's the, she's the one who shared it. I'm the one who shared it. Uh, okay. <laughs> what do you mean, what did I do this time? I was gonna say, because I'm used to- I've seen those memes before, but it was, uh... But... It was before just The Simpson one instead? No, well, Futurama. Oh. Uh, sorry, I forgot which of the shows called it. <laughs> yeah, the one where they literally talk about a wear car. <sighs> Alright, well... Next school's M.O. No. Damn shame. Guess I gotta kill myself. <laughs> Fair enough. God me, damn, this kid made <laughs> banana macaroons. Me messes up drawing. Also me scribbles over all over it to start over. The guy I'm tattooing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it. I love that one. <laughs> so, so Sky. Reasons why I'll never be so a canny. So I check when I was uh in that down period. I checked Twitter. Uh, and apparently, uh, Private Party beat the Young Bucks. What the fuck? Yeah. Yo. That's kind of hype. Yeah. I mean, I'm always oh excited my. for the guys to win when their literal s okay. finishing move is called Gin and Juice. I just had the most jarring experience. In my cast group chat, someone just shared Lilo and Stitch, but Stitch is voiced for by Dio Brando. <laughs> I, I like I genuinely was like what fucking group chat did I open again where am I Narnia New York New York wait what's the difference concrete jungle wet dream tomato, tomato. god fucking <laughs> There's nothing you can't do! York! New! Alright, where the fuck am I gonna find the card thing I need to be able to get in? Oh, thick! What the fuck? I perished. Man, I can't believe Delta, Delta is fucking bread. Why, why would you? Why would you say that? I can't believe Delta is fucking bread. <laughs> All right. Well, obviously, I need to be at J.P. Gordon Chase, and I'm there. But I need to figure out where the fuck. I get a key thing. Have you tried checking one of the not dead bodies? I mean, I've been pressing on every not dead body I've run across. Then I guess that's not the answer. Um. <laughs> my assumption is I would have gone home and then, like, my dad would have a spare, but when I went home, it wouldn't let me go back in. Oh. It was like, I should probably go see if other people are awake. And I'm like, I know other people are awake. I've been fucking playing this for, like, an hour. Uh, let's see, I tried to get in there, and both 
One of them is open, but there's nothing there. The other side is locked. This is just gonna be like a fucking trash can around town or something. Maybe the hotel? Well, it's locked shut, so probably not the hotel. Why the fuck are JoJo memes being shared in my cast group chat all of a sudden? What just why happened? Not? Yeah, what why twilight not? What Twilight Zone did I just enter? Do, 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 <laughs> the second do, do. one. Wait. <laughs> oh, a prime! Hell yeah. Gimme, give gimme. Give I prefer Optimus. Alright, I'm running out of places to check at this point. <sighs> Fucking might be time to look up a guide. Let's see. Seems like an apartment building, and I can't get any into any of those places. I can't get in the convenience store, or the bakers, or the Dr. Britt Baker DMDs. Um, the security guard over here he already gave me something, so it's not him. Resting peacefully. This is where I came from. Might be people awake, I should go look. Locked up tight. That looks like a fucking warp pipe. Hmm. Is there a trash can outside of JP Morgan and Chase? Or Gordon and Chase? Or maybe I can go up this like back way and find something? No. Something in the bushes, maybe? Something behind this tree? Ah, I don't know. Fernando Apartments. I think this is where David lives. I think I already checked all the doors in here, but... Alright. It's definitely not here. Oh, fuck! Can't believe you've done this! Oh, this. I can't believe you, fuck. The convenience store is locked up tight. Trash cans for the store. It's locked up tight. It's locked up tight. Empty cans. A vending machine. Is it somewhere in the park here or something? Because it's probably not back where I've already been. So it's probably not in the mall. Oh, maybe it's in the bookstore? A register. Is it okay to leave the door wide open when there's a fucking cash register here? Yes, because everyone else is asleep. A book Restore lays on the floor. Restore wide open. The vengeance of hell boils in my heart. Death and despair flame about me. If Sarastro does not through you feel the pain of death, then you will be my daughter nevermore. Disowned may you be forever, abandoned may you be forever, destroyed be forever all the bonds of nature. If not through you, Sarastro becomes pale. Here are gods of revenge, here are mon's mother's oath. I think I've read this before. The magic flute, was it? Children's books, children's craft books, stories and shut and shutch. Gordon getting upset that his daughter called it Basil. Basil. <laughs> he was like, Basil! She's like, we're in America, Dad. It's like, oh my god. And then they she's keep great. laughing, and then she's like, 
basil or basil and he's like he's like fucking yeah he bites his fucking finger he's like i did not raise you <laughs> to disrespect like if we were on tv i would shove that basil in your mouth <laughs> just like i used to with the fucking soap no i'm sure he's like actually very good with his kids obviously oh no he <laughs> definitely is but it's just a funny meme if he's not yep yeah, wow, what a funny meme about dads beating their children. I'm glad you cut out halfway through that statement. I'm gonna eat some bread. Delicious, delicious bread. Oh, definitely, but... <sighs> uh, where the fuck do I find this? I don't know, look up a guide? Yeah, fuck this, I'm looking up a guide. <laughs> Alright, it's on Long Island. Long Island? Long Island? Uh, let's see. I'm pretty sure that this is the dish where Jenna, like, self by accident. I'm gonna have a breakdown, breakdown. Hmm? I don't want... I don't want this. I don't want to fucking think about how to get all the fucking... things. No one better have started the boss already, I heard that sound. Oh, okay, thank god, I thought that was- oh, Jesus fuck. You thought- the raid people started the boss? No, um, this isn't quite a raid, but it's close enough. It has, it's like a micro raid, I guess. But before the boss, you can put down a flag, which basically uh, finishes all every single cooldown you have, even your ultimates. And mm. and then uh, then you can and it gives you all your it refills all your ammo. But someone obviously needs to have the consumable to do it or whatever. Everyone has them by now. So if they started the boss before I could pick that shit up, I would have been upset. Now we gotta fight the gate lord. <laughs> God damn it, there's a bunch of little that's not a walkthrough. I literally asked for a walkthrough. That's not a fucking video. Are you gonna give me a fucking walkthrough? Bigfishgames.com? Never mind, this is Dreamscapes, the Sandman. It's not what I need. Fucking. Did you look through the Steam community on this game? Yeah, I'm gonna look through the Steam community at this point. To installed. Go to community guides. Well, the only guides is a hundred percent. Popular Steam guides. No, I want all of them. Walkthroughs. Well, nothing matched my criteria of in English and a walkthrough. <laughs> of in English. Oh.
Okay. I know what to do now. A little obscure. But, uh, yeah. I don't know what to do! Sorry, she's just freaking out about her sauce. Kind of what I had thought about before, but I had no way of realizing that the thing on the wall was uh, a code thing. Oh, it was in that guy? It was in the, yeah, the guy all the way in the southeast in the subway. Oh. Oh, and the guy, it looks like the guy in the employee of the month picture is the same guy as the, uh... Which would be a hint that we all literally missed. Yeah. Some documents. For security purposes, all rooms auto-lock at 10pm. They cannot be entered from outside. Those who remain past 10 must make an advance request for a time to keep the locks open. So it's just the game telling me that all the, all the rooms lock. It's your time limit for each day, I guess. Now I'm kind of afraid that Andrew's gonna win. What? The season. He just helped Jenna basically through an almost disaster. Hmm. Oh yeah, that moment. Ah, uh, yes. Also, he totally that. had a crush on Gordon's daughter. I think Gordon knew it. Well, that's why I didn't. He was like, "Hey, don't you want to say more to her? Like, hi, Tilly. You want to go on a date? How does tomorrow night for dinner sound?" Like, <laughs> yeah, I know. That part was like the best. Aww. And then, like, as she was leaving, he just like was like, "Andrew, what?" <laughs> Somebody. 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 Alright, so. They ain't shit. Alright. I um, ate some bread. Bitches ain't shit, but hoes, hoes and tricks. And tricks. Alright, I need to go do Dream City. <laughs> Oh, the shadow. Oh, I forgot. Shattered Throne you can access from orbit now. Awesome. Well, fuck. Flashback to Dad comes home from work. Hey, Dad, I got this picture. He's like, I'm tired. I'm sorry. Um, Look at this graph. Look at this cat. Wait. <laughs> Tiff, that's just you every day. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> what? No! Yeah, so I, got, I guess my dad overworked himself and ended up in the hospital after coughing up blood and collapsing. Wow. That's the way to go. It's also so very Japanese. Whoa, 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 whoa. What is his name? Guck what? Frazen the Let... I can't see his full name. It says Guck Frace in the Legend of something. I can't see the last bit. Legend of the Hidden Temple? Is that it? Legend Maybe. Of the Temple Who are you talking about? Hold on, I need to look at his... <laughs> Kenny. I'm playing Skyrim again. Of course you are. And no, and it... 
and it's just like, no, oh yeah, that... you did a, a critical hit or whatever. You did like a finishing blow animation. Like I, I killed this one enemy off, and so it just it just shows the arrow just fly out my bow in slow motion, just goes through this enemy's head. Guys, just, like, I'm pissed. Straight up through the fucking brain matter. <laughs> Do you want to know what his full name is? Yes. Who's? Guck Frasen, the legend of. Um, That's what you're talking about. Guck what Frasen, the fuck? The legend of. It makes you think like there's more and it's just not showing up. But no, there's nothing else. Guys? Are you talking about your game or Kenny's game? My game. Guys? Okay, that's. I was confused this whole entire time. <laughs> ah! What the fuck? Back. What the fuck? Hopefully I remember the right direction to run. And then go up. You didn't remember the right direction to run? Just no, I did. What the fuck? Your dad will die. No, he's not. I will say papa. Johnny, Johnny. Ah! Also, why, why would you bring that cursed content into this whole Christian stream? Dad, no! Your dad's what the gonna fuck? Die. No! Mmm, <laughs> God, God, that hurt. Dad! I mean, Papa! Uh, everything's not on fire. The door this is, is fine. The door is closed again. It's a dream. This has to be a dream. I'm having an awful nightmare. Because I can't explain it. Black shadows, weird soldiers, fucking dragon, man. Fire breathing dragon is what it says. Let me wake up. I can't wake up, though. I don't even want to sleep. Before you go, go. If I can't wake up, then help! Somebody help! Ah, oh, fuck. Uh, Wait, who's David? The same guy I've been talking to the entire fucking game. <laughs> but who is he to you? Uh, someone I met after a bad day, and he's my friend. Also, I lost a tooth. You lost a tooth? Yeah. Are you sure it's your tooth? It said, this looks like one of my teeth. Did it fall out when I got knocked back? Well then. Alright, where am I supposed to go? Well, there's nothing circled. There's nothing circled on the map. So I'm gonna go home. So I'm gonna go home. Or maybe church. I don't know. You just saw a fucking dragon. I wanna go or maybe a dentist, home. Too far if I just saw a fucking dragon, wouldn't the church be the last place I wanna go, Dev? What do you mean? The dragons Guys, are the church. Oh, sure are they? Well, Kenny, go find a dentist. I went to the hospital and it wouldn't let me go anywhere. Dentists aren't at the hospital. Maybe they are. They're not. Well, I found the next cutscene trigger. Dave is not here, and there's a spooky thing in that direction. You can see the shadow. It's a horse. Nay. Nay, I say. The horse was getting candy. Is it amazing? Look at my horse. My horse, my is, horse amazing. is amazing. Give it a lick. I think Ryan Kate's gonna be going home. Her pastry was raw and her salmon was cooked. Oh yeah, I forgot you're on the episode where they're making fucking salmon on crew. Yeah, specifically his. Who the fuck is that? Random woman. What? what? In our house. I don't know. A fucking magical horse led me here. No way. That that can't be. Was that your dad on the couch? No. Or is it David? Oh, or is it Sophie. You? Sorry, I had to click that off so I'd stop having the fucking notification. Did you find your father, Sophie? Is it a clone? I did. 
but he's gone. Gone? What do you mean? You got separated? Something like that. I see. Sorry I couldn't find your friends. I wonder where they could be. I searched the town over again, but I haven't found anyone awake. No choice but to look harder, I guess. Let's go, Sophie. We have to find your father and friends. Just who are you? Wow, the bald guy was actually a little bit rude to the eight-year-old. Huh? What do you mean, Sophie? And why this all of a sudden? Who am I? David, of course. LIAR! Because... Because David is in that apartment. Asleep or dead? He's asleep! So who are you? David's evil twin! Not seeing what you mean here. Divad! I'm me! Don't go asking me who I am. Sheesh. First of all, you say I was sleeping over there? Let's say it's true. Why wouldn't that one be the fake? Because he's not! Because you already lied to me! That alone tells me I can't trust you. Lied? What lie? When did I lie? Stay away! Don't get any closer! Who the hell are you? Why... Why do you look like David? Oh, boy. It's salmon, isn't it? Looks like you got me. Jeez. Wasn't my fault, at least. I'm sure it was his interference. Sheesh, what a pain in the neck. Did you... Who's interference? Did you horse? do this? Did you put the town to sleep? Wasn't me. It was the Sandman. S Sandman? You mean the fairy who... Yeah, you know him, don't you? Yeah. Use a sleep as sand to put humans to sleep. Well, he put all the humans in the world to sleep. Forever. Do, do you think I'm stupid? The Sandman put the whole world to sleep? As if fairies actually exist. Oh, now you don't believe it. After seeing shadows, soldiers, fire-breathing dragons. How, how do you know about the dragon? I didn't tell you that yet. Because that was me. He's a dragon? What? You mean... He tried to kill her? You've been doing all this? Yeah, that's it. I'm Lullaby, one of Sandman's creations. Lullaby? Sandman decided to put everyone into eternal sleep. He made special sleeping sand, different from his usual. He stopped time and scanned the sand worldwide. The humans fell asleep while time was stopped. But not everyone. There were people like you. I guess you call them insomniacs? So there are others awake? Yeah, here and there around the world. So the Sandman brewed up a plan for them. Now. He made me. Lullaby. The ones who can't sleep are uneasy, angry, impatient. How do you put those people to sleep, you think? Clear up those feelings. Erase their worries. Grant their desires. Satisfy them. That's what my job is. So you you made it look like you killed my father and you think that's going to make me satisfied? You suck at your job, buddy. If someone can't sleep out of worry over the, about their work, I sing them a lullaby about a successful project. A woman vexed by romance, a lullaby of fucking up. Children in places of war, terrified of gunshots, I sing them a lullaby that the war is over. Then they can all sleep peacefully. H hold it right there. And that makes all the stuff I've seen my lullaby for you, Sophie. Winky face. No, why? What kind of lullaby is that? I wouldn't be put at ease by that. That's that's the stuff of nightmares. Unless. You should be more honest with yourself, Sophie. Didn't you feel such disdain for your friend saying she was worried yet never acting on it? Didn't you want her to be condemned as a liar? Didn't you want revenge on the girl who was once a close friend but now bullies you? Didn't you want her to be executed in front of everyone? Stop it. Did you want the company that took your father from you to go up in flames so that he could pay attention to you? Stop it! Oh, Sophie. You should have just not done anything. Just watched them suffer as you wished. If you had, by now, you would have been able to sleep peacefully. Where's the Sandman? Why do you ask? I'm going to stop him. Putting everyone to sleep is no joke. I'm not going to let him do that. Take my hand, Sophie. What? You want to go where the Sandman is, yes? I'll take you there. 
Really? You do realize I want to stop him. Aren't you on his side? I can't go against your wishes. It's my job to grant them. Are you scared? Of course not. Take me to the Sandman, you fucker. Okay, unfair that Riley's going home, but Kayla's staying. I'm sorry. Uh, continue. His fish was raw. Like, literally raw. He's an eight-year-old. And? His, his, his fish was fucking raw, bro. It's fucking raw. I mean, like, her food was also raw. Like, but what food? What, was it also fish? Yeah, they were all... The challenge was they're all making the same dish. Oh. So I was about to say, like, if hers wasn't, like, a meat base, then, I mean, he could literally kill people. Her, probably not. But they're all fish, so that argument's invalid. Listen, raw salmon hasn't killed anybody yet. Raw salmon? Sushi's a thing. Come on. He shouldn't be going. I'm upset. That's also cultured. Like, Dev, I think you're trying a little too hard to save the eight-year-old. I'm upset. Hmm. Great, it's one of those endless maze things. Well, the only path I haven't tried is this one. What the fuck? Small bed made from a stump. Small pile of barrels, the stuff full of something. Alright, well. Wait, whose bed is that? I don't know. <clears throat> Do I hear singing? Is someone here? All right then. Fuck. Wait a minute, game over? How long has it been since I saved? Shit! <laughs> Can I? Normal. See, and this, this, ladies and gentlemen, is why I always panic save in this game. In these games like this, for some reason, I didn't panic save, so now I'm fucked. Remember the one game you didn't panic save and managed to get an end, get the game end. Oh, the fuck that was the one Sky recommended, I think. The forest. I think so. The one with the one where you're pretty much gonna die to any random bullshit. No, that's the 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 princess one. Yeah, that one. I recommended that first off. Oh, okay. Sky just knew about it. Long live the queen. Yeah, yeah there it is. Long live the queen. I don't remember it. Shit. Kenny, did you save? Yes, I did. Just making sure. Skip the dialogue. Mr. Sandman, bring me your memes. <laughs> A little bit bubbly. No. A little bit of bubbly. A little bit of bubbly. God, I got a lot I gotta go back through. Fuck. Just speed run it. You got this. It's okay, Rip. Before you go into the room that has David, you should save because then that's less dialogue you'll have to go through again if you die. I mean, I was gonna save after I got to the the magic world. Or that. Or both. Oh, now I understand because it was the back side of the couch I was looking at. Yeah. I knew that instantly. Uh, I just thought it was. Well, a it was weird, kind of obvious. I just thought it was a weird-looking table. 
<laughs> Yo, what kind of table is this? The fuck? Fuck kind of bullshit. They're putting a bunch of kids in a restaurant to cook for actual adults. Now, now we're doing Hell's Kitchen, but with children. Got it. Yeah, basically. <clears throat> Now I'm really upset that Riley's gone because I wanted him to win and, you know, now he's gone so he can't win. Wait, was Riley the one who had a crush on, uh... Nah, it's Andrew. No, oh, Riley was the eight-year-old, the smallest and youngest person. Ever to be on that show. Yeah. And honestly, I think he's a better cook than some of the people still left here. She wants the trophy because it looks like a giant diamond. Alright. Now that I've made it to the magical area, safe. And if this is the same as last time, don't know how to get around that. Maybe I have to wait for a certain point in the song? There we go. Ah, shoot. Messed that one up. Oh, my. It's not Tasty Prey at all. It's a girl. Shouldn't have come out here in the first place. H who are you? You don't know me. I'm Nixie. Nixie? The fairy who lives in the swamp? Yes, indeed. I thought a handsome young man came along, but just a squirt. Ah, I'm so peeved. Say, could you bring me something nice? I'll let you through if you do. Otherwise, no dice. Well, why should I? I need to get to the Sandman. Please let me through. No, I can't do. I'm in the mood for a shiny coin. Bring it. I I'll say drag you into no the swamp. Dice, home skilly. All right, chop chop. All right, I gotta find a coin. Mm. Hey, 
Hey, what are you doing to my house? Don't you know how to knock? Rude. Wait, that didn't happen last time. Well, yeah, because I think I had to wait for... I think I had to get the Swamp Lady trigger thing. Sheesh, didn't even notice you. Come on now, out with you. Who, who are you? What, forgotten about me? The nerve of this kid. What, why should I know who you are? Come on, girl. I'm the Tooth Fairy. <laughs> tooth Fairy? You mean... That's right. When you were little, I did, you know, under the pillow and all that. That doesn't... Mm -hmm. mm. What are you talking about? The so Tooth Fairy I doesn't exist. That was a fairy. It was my dad. Ah, stop, stop, stop. Say no more, my girl. Seriously. A fairy dies every time you say that baloney. There's few enough of us as it is. I'm sorry. Right, so long as we're clear. But you got no business scattle. I got work to do. Yo, dude. Uh, I got a lost tooth. Can I trade you this tooth for a coin? Mm -hmm. No, no, that won't do. I don't want this big honka thing. I collect kids' teeth. The one that fall out to be replaced by new ones. Don't show me adult teeth. Alright, but what if... Alright, so I need a child's tooth? So you have to go trade your tooth with a child? Maybe. Alright, this is just gonna make me backtrack. There was nothing of relevance in that area in the first place. What if I can Don't ask... To save. Yeah, it's been a bit. <laughs> It's been three minutes, probably a good time to save. Alright, now what if... Hear me out, lady. What if you trade me a tooth? Say, isn't my skin so smooth? Less smooth, more slimy. What an impertinent little squirt. I use Tibby Young Dew on my skin every day, so it's always youthful and strong. What's the point worrying about your skin in a swamp like this? Oh dear. Have you yet to learn the importance of skin t care? Such a squirt. Being in the water all day makes my skin rough, too. I was hoping I could trade you the tooth. Because this guy doesn't want my tooth. Well. I'm looking for something that I could use to help, buddy. Like, I want to give you a tooth, but you don't want my tooth. How, I know you want a tooth, but you don't want my tooth. That's all. That's the only tooth I got. That's the only one I got. Sorry, man. Like, can, can you trade? <laughs> trade. Trade, please. Trade. Plus trade. Alright. Maybe there's... Maybe there's like another direction I can go? Maybe back at the beginning there's like a small child? That you can just box the fuck out of? Yeah. That's exactly what I was thinking. And not just trade them for a tooth. <laughs> no, beat the shit out of them. Take, like, take all their teeth. <laughs> Alright, well. Hey yo, give me a tooth. Run that shit. Run the set. What the fuck? Run, run the set. Fuck you mean you don't want to do it? You don't got a choice no more. I said run the set. I want your tooth. So run the set. Eat the tooth. Eat, Eat the, the wheat. tooth. Make that bread. Be With elite. your teeth. Be, be elite. Alright, there's got to be something else. He doesn't want my tooth. He wants a child's tooth. And I don't have anything else in my inventory. And I can't go any farther. And if I try and trade this... Hey, where'd you get the tip young stuff you were talking about? Oh, do you want silky smooth skin too? Uh, tip young grass is a pretty light blue plant that grows in the drywood forest. Even a squirt like you should be able to see it right away. 
Ah, might it be for your boyfriend? I, I don't have a boyfriend. Now that I could have guessed, but I bet there's a guy you want as one, yes? Uh, Before there was, but he's a filthy liar and not real now. Wait. Damn it. I was hoping using the lost tooth, like, interacting with her, would get her to, like, you know. Alright, hold on. I don't think she wants her tooth. Yeah. Uh... All right. That makes sense in retrospect. I wish I had thought about that. What, did you not think about the fact that maybe they don't want your tooth? No. So the... So I need to look around here for a blue plant. And then I use... Because apparently, the t yeah, there we go. Because apparently, just putting the blue like stuff on, stuff on it, it's not just making it silky smooth. Apparently, it reverses aging. So I put it on the my adult tooth, and it turns into a baby tooth. That's not what. I now have a child's tooth. That's not how that works. Yeah, it is. What? It's not at all how teeth work, but okay. Also, the guy made me actually lay down on a bed in order to do the exchange for the coin. Well, yeah. It's just simple protocol. He was like, in just indulge me, will you? Here, I brought a coin. Ah, it's so wonderfully shiny. Well done. You can pass now. Thanks. Bye, Nixie. Why the fuck is everything on fire? What the fuck am I doing? I just... I'm... <laughs> Our... It's pitch dark inside. There's a small castle here. A very small house. A sideboard has some writing, but you can't read it. do I do in this situation? Because this would look like it's something I could walk on. Also, I should save. Um, I can't walk on that. I can't get around. I can't get around these things. So there's got to be something else I could do. I can't get inside there because it's apparently pitch black. There's a bird cage there. Ah! Uh... Okay, that was weird. I was assuming I could continue forward, but... I guess not. Okay, so if the colorful log means change size, is there maybe a colorful log over here I can use? No, there's not. 
so obviously I have to figure out how to get across a couple different screens while tiny. This is something resembling a birdcage. No. No, I don't want to enter it. Hmm. Now, what if I... Alright, so the tiny, the tiny thing. I'm guessing there's got to be a way for me to be able to move the log. Because it's not going to let me leave the screen that I'm on. Well, tiny. Which I guess makes sense, because, you know. So, what if... If I hit enter on it, it just makes me tiny. That doesn't help me. You're super tiny. Yeah. I can't believe Kenny is small. I know, it's weird. Why are you chasing those things? I don't know, I just felt like tapping every single one of them. Okay. Mostly because I'm trying to figure out what to do here. Because if I go in the log, I get tiny. But I don't want to go in the log, I want to be able to move the log. Because I'm guessing that's what I have to do in order to, in order to get into the Sandman's house. Because this is the Sandman's house. Okay, maybe I had to trigger this to be like, oh, that's the Sandman's house. How do I get in? Maybe I take the log. There we go. That's what it was. <laughs> you were going inside of it when you were supposed to be picking it up? Well, it didn't give me the option to pick it up until I went back to the house. Fair. There. Now I'm inside the Sandman's house. This room has a lot of clocks.
But now that I'm inside the Sandman's house, what's safe? Does that one only turn you around? Okay. Why does it say no horse? Wait a minute. <laughs> I guess I'm not allowed to take my horse to the old town road. Screams. Ow. <laughs> you gotta ride till you can't no more. I got a horse. I got a back. All right, so I guess I have to backtrack there. I can just walk. Ah, oh, fuck! I was not expecting that to be the right door. Ah, oh, fuck! <laughs> You're the Sandman. What's What's that in your hand? A spoon? Uh? Oh, it's a uh, Sandman. You're still not sleepy, are you? Then I'll tell you a scary story. The terrifying no, story of the Sandman. No, thanks. The Sandman, he doesn't like children who stay up. So he digs out their eyes with a spoon and makes them into stew. Damn. There's a guy in my game, Nick called Chitipinic. No! Me. Don't come any closer! Kenny, when's the last time you saved? It's been a minute. Well, the next chance you get. What? Why did he force me to come here? Eek. The soup is full of eyeballs? Are these children's eyes? God, it smells awful. I'm gonna be sick. Just making it, looking at it makes me want to barf. Does he want me to eat this? There's no way I'll die. I'd die for sure. He mustn't mean to kill me with this. Then he, he'll dig out my eyes and make me into stew. Sophie? Sophie, eat up, eat up. Food, food, eat up. Uh. Eat, eat. Ah, fuck it, I'll eat. Ugh. Uh, is that gonna be my game over? Yeah. Yep. All right. It was just before this, the spinny puzzle. I wonder if I can even get out of like. Save there. Alright, so I had to go this way. And here's that creepy friend again. He's a spooky motherfucker. Ah! Ah. Well, I didn't have a choice. There's, so I couldn't actually get out of there because uh, a steam cloud got in the way. Unfair advantage. Selfie, selfie, eat up, eat up. Food, food, eat up. Don't eat. Eat, eat. 
Don't eat. Eat it. Eat it. Don't eat. Chew. Don't chew. Eat. Refuse. No. I'm so sorry. Uh, um, this looks really good, but but you see, I uh, I'm not hungry. It's really too bad. Really a shame. Uh, I'm just too full to eat right now, so uh, I'm sorry. He just blinked at me. Sandman, you're not eating. It's okay? Okay. Uh, am, am I saved? Well, I can save the game again. All right. That's good. Yeah. Ow. I got some kind of memo. It says, I can't read it. Hmm. Alright, so I still can't go that way, and the other way is to the Sandman's room, so I'm not going to bother with him. Weird blue liquor creeps along the floor. All right, bye. A white flower with red fruits. Okay. Weird flex, but okay. Candle is a wavering red flame. What are you doing? Cleaning, cleaning, because I'm bored, you know? Hey, so who did the painting on the wall? Sandman, Sandman is even good at arts. A painting hangs on the wall. That's just a pile of colors. Alright, well. There's only one other thing I haven't tried yet. So I might as well try that. Got this, I believe in you. <laughs> Fuck. Took a step too far forward. Great animation on that fire though, right guys? Wait, what did you die to that time? Hold on. The fire. Sorry, I like I looked away for a second and then it was just a load screen. opportunity. <coughs> I missed the first one, but yeah. I got through this time, though. You going down? No, I don't think I go down. Ow. What? I hate something. Oh, are these clear glass walls? this room. I wish I could mark my way somehow. Bottle of shiny red liquid. 
I could probably mark I could probably go back through. So let's items bottle of red liquid. Alright. Alright, that's convenient. So I've got a feeling I'm gonna have to backtrack through here again, so. I feel like there's gonna be a point where you get chased backwards. Probably. Fuck, found the Sandman again. He's got a bag this time. No! Santa Claus, is that you? Ah! He's faster than me. Run, Kenny, run! <laughs> we knew you were gonna get chased. You what got him. He fell? Is he gonna be okay? Oh god, what the fuck? There's a giant hole in the floor? Yeah, I made that. There was glass there, and then I pulled the lever. There was glass there. Now there's not. Jesus fucking Christ, what is this game? I don't know. Sandman! It's the Sandman. Bring me Sandman. your meat. Bum, 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 bum. Bring me your meat. Make it the juiciest that I've Save. ever seen. I got a magic mirror. Oh, I get it. My favorite song joke Kenny. now. Kenny, Kenny, save. Oh yeah. Yeah, save. Kenny, did you save? I did. Okay. I just didn't see it on the stream. So my favorite uh, song meme now is uh, Raindrops on Roses and Whiskers on Kittens Sticking my dick in rotisserie chicken Fucking goddammit. I found a lullaby. It is, it is a good meme, but still. Look, I know that you're annoyed that all your friends and family are basically dead. Alright, well that seems like it's locked. That's not I a doorway. <laughs> oh, fuck. Beautiful statue. I know you're annoyed that your whole, all your friends and family are probably dead, but you gotta get over it, pussy. Uh. Uh oh. So sleepy all of a sudden. Why? It is it the song? I have to do something or I'll fall asleep. Splash water on my face. Yeah. Ow. Why, why are you banging your head on the statue? I don't know. It's keeping me awake. Oh no, hitting the statue just hit different, you know? It's too heavy. Wait, Kenny, from that side, bang your head on it. Nah, I'm going to sleep. 
All right, so I could scream out the window. I have a feeling I have to do all those things. But yeah. Well, it looks like there's a hole under the statue and you were just pushing from the wrong side. Slash interacting from the wrong side. You think this game is fancy enough to know interaction sides? Ha. Huh. So, so guys, I, I just have a question. I have an answer. All right, so I'm in this like redneck group, and so someone just in response to a video posted like five photos of himself, like like five like profile photos. Okay. They're like, and like with no comment, he just posted them. And it's like... I don't understand. Wait, what the fuck? Scream out the window? Yeah. Try from the other side. It's too heavy. I, I don't think it will let me headbutt this side anymore, and I'll faint. So, there's got to be something else I can do in this room. The door? Or the thing next to the door? Yep, nope. Right out of time again. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. There's got to be something. What do I have in my inventory? Maybe the magic mirror? Maybe I'll do that next time. Oh, that's right. You can transport anywhere. Yeah, it says I can teleport anywhere, so... Might as well try it. Now the magic mirror broke. So what's that thing next to the door? It's a door plate. I can't read it. I think I did it. It's over. I'm too sleepy to move. Oh dear. I told you you shouldn't give up. You should have given up. Lullaby. Please stop that song. Why? Aren't you wanting to fall asleep? No, you finally can. Yeah, but I don't want to sleep forever. Please, lullaby. Help. And he snapped his he fucking Thanos snapped the music away. Alright, it's off. <sighs> I feel bad seeing you so worn out. That's why that's what you get for acting rashly. Enough. Enough! Why did this have to happen? 
After all that putting up with being sleepless, you try to put me to sleep when I have to be awake? Please, Lullaby, tell me how I could stop the Sandman. I've had enough of this. I just want a normal sleep. How should I know how to do that? Well, well, you tell him. Tell him to give up on putting people to sleep forever. I can't do that. Sandman made me, so I can't defy him. So I just have to give up? Give up and sleep forever? Well, if anybody had a plot to stop Sandman, I know it, who it would probably be. Who? Could they stop him? Leave the house and go east. There's a lake with pink trees along it. That's where you'll find him. Wait, um, what kind of person is he? Someone Sandman hates. The traps in his ha in this house are to keep him out. Oh, and he was the one who exposed me to you back in your world. <laughs> Loves to get in the way of work, does he does. Be careful, Sophie. It's up to you to who to trust, but this little life has a thing for cute girls like you. Okay. Cute? cute? Really? You're gonna blush about being called cute now of all time, Sophie? Really? You're gonna blush about yeah, she's tired. Can you blame her? Madman. Uh, 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 wait, hold on. I should probably save. Yeah. Kenny, always save. Oh, fuck. Yo, Kenny, you wanna do me a solid? Possibly. Do you know where my phone is? Not necessarily. Oh, God damn it. Kenny, why why do you have to steal my phone like this, dude? Yes, I'm the one who stole your phone. That totally makes exactly. sense, right? Exactly. I knew it. I knew it this whole time. Kenny, you have betrayed me? I don't care anymore. Oh, uh, shit. Oh, it's a black unicorn with blue eyes. Oh, Sophie, you're late. I was waiting for you. What the fuck? And you are? Come on, you have to know. I'm the unicorn. I saw you back in my world. Did you want me to bring me over here? Yep, that was the plan. I hate letting Sandman have his way. Plus, you're just so cute. Ha! You've been hey, called Sophie. cute again. Do you have a boyfriend or anything? Huh? Well, no. Well, anyone you like? Shut up! And if there is, it's none of your business. Ah ha ha, tight lipped are we. That's how girls always are. So, I hear you want to stop Sandman? Oh, I know how that feels. He's such a detestable fellow. Can you tell me what I should do? You bet, but not for free. I want a favor, too. A favor? Sandman hides lots of pretty jewels in his house. I asked to see him again and again, but he's all never to the likes of you. Hmm. So I tried sneaking in for a peek, but he made these weird traps to keep me out. Ill-natured old coot, isn't he? So if you can show me one of those jewels, I'll give you something great and useful. How about it? Just bring a jewel here? Yep. The jewels, I mean, are round and glossy. They come in all sorts of colors. Oh, but I specifically want a pink jewel. Not interested in any others. All right, but what the Sandman sees me and I can't bring it? Well, then I'll run you through with my horn. Why? <laughs> <laughs> I can't wait. Good luck, Sophie. That makes me uncomfortable because I know he probably means he'll kill you, but he did also ask if you had a boyfriend. Ooh. Yeah, like... Why'd you have to make it cringe? <laughs> it was already cringe. That's not cringe, that's just realistic. Alright. No. I have a reaction. Monka S. Monka S. Monka S. Now the kids have to make what they call cram brulee. <laughs> cram brulee? <laughs> yeah. There are eight stones embedded in the door. The 
pink one. Yeah, that's why I was like, I just, I just want the pink one, right? Do I not? I mean, take them all, but. Do I not have a way of getting them? Actually, I don't think I need to go this far. Because those are definitely the stones you mentioned. God damn it. <laughs> Items... Memo? Alright. There are eight stones embedded in this door. Oh, can I... Can I have one? I just want one. Hmm. I guess it's not those. Am I missing something here? I'm gonna be honest, I heard whatever, whoever sound that just came from, I heard the first note, and for some reason I immediately thought, fucking the Pornhub intro. Do not fuck the Pornhub intro. I don't think you're supposed to fuck it. Speaking of, guys, we still have the, medicine? the meat and fuck retrospective. We do. You know, I, in my head, I was like, where the fuck is this segue going? But that was the only logical way. There's literally no, only listen, one direction. We have yet to do the porn, the, uh, the meat and fuck retrospective, and we need to get on top of that because 2020 is coming up and Flash is going to be irrelevant soon. Alright, I need to see this happen. Can you save? I did. Okay. Oh, okay, so nothing happens unless I bring him the wrong one. Okay. Mm. So there's... Supposed to be something that I haven't grabbed yet. What do you mean? There's apparently like. It's literally a stick. Like, that's literally all I'm looking for. But yeah, but you already picked up one earlier, right? No, I picked up that log. And I turned that into the log that I needed in order to get into the Sandman's house. So unless there's something inside Sandman's house that I didn't grab? It's the only thing I can think of at this point. The painting fell off the wall, and there's colorful gems behind it now. A lot of clocks. Lizard seems to be dead. I feel like I would have seen a stick, you know? A stick that I could grab. <laughs> but if it's not there, it's gotta be somewhere outside the house, then. Where the fuck? Fuck is this item? I don't know what you think you. What do you need a stick for? I need a stick because there's you. You remember in that room with the the glass maze, the one that like I had to use the red paint on the floor to get out of. Yeah. 
Um, apparently, if I have a stick, I can break the glass near the staircase in the middle of that room and then go up the stairs. But I don't know where I find a stick. Yo, I hey. mean, is it mandatory for the end of the game? I think so, yes. I think I literally have to do that in order to get to the end of the game. So unless maybe... I'm assuming you're looking it up since yeah. nothing's changed in stream. Yeah, I was trying to figure out where the fuck it is. So apparently it's in the house. So, it would make sense. So there's a color lock, so blue, cyan, purple, green, pink, red, yellow, orange. Ten thirty. You know what that means. Okay, it's just raspberries just fell from the sky. Raspberries. Can you move the gems around on it? I tried. I'll try again because. Maybe there's just something I'm missing. Yo, dog, you ever just find a really nice rock? I'm not talking no gems or diamonds, just a very nice rock. Honestly? Nah, it doesn't, it doesn't let me do any while. of these. I guess maybe now that I've seen that, I gotta go back to the room with the colors on the wall. It's the only thing I can really think of. It's like, it's like, oh, now I've seen this. So now I go back and I saw that the painting was out of place. Which then gives me a color pattern.
pattern shows up in this room. Ah, it's too heavy to lift. Hmm, something's on the wall. Yeah, blue, cyan, purple, green, pink, red, yellow, orange. So I had to talk to the specific dust cloud to pretend like I was helping him to be able to actually use the clue in order to do that puzzle. Okay. Fuck, I love raspberry. Blue, cyan, purple, green, pink, red, yellow, orange. Ah! F footsteps. It's the Sandman. What to do? Where can I hide? How long has it been since I saved? <laughs> a while. Damn it. Uh, honestly, I did a lot of pointless wandering around anyway, so it isn't really that. Is there much a closet fun. in that room that you can hide in? Maybe. Well, I was thinking that I got the sack. Maybe once I get the sack, maybe I just hide in the sack. I don't know. I don't think that's gonna work. I'm gonna get right before the jam room, and then I'll, I'll get, I'll, no, no, I should be able to save right after I get the, uh, right after I, after you put the code in, yeah. bigger wardrobe looking thing in the bottom right. Let me try there. Oh, why do I feel like part of me is sticking out too much and it'll catch me? the only closet you could hide in? Yeah. He left? Good. He didn't see me. Hi there. Sweetie. Or he did. What? Oh. What? Was there someone there? See you later. Well, that was creepy. Uh, so you've got the stick and the sack? I've got the stick. Oh, I don't have the sack. I should probably go back and get the sack. Yeah, probably. Seeing as you were able to grab it before. Yeah. I 
I got a sack. Maybe we could break this glass wall with a stick, but what was it? Don't throw rocks in. But it's not a house. Fuck it. I picked up a shard of glass. I'm gonna grab the pink jewel. Because the unicorn said very specifically the pink one. Don't forget the save. Yeah, it's been a hot minute. And by a, a hot minute, I mean a hot two minutes. But we don't trust this game, so... Best thing to do is to never trust this game. The best thing to do is never trust. Yo, you're right. Hey, Mr. Unicorn. I gotta break pink jewel. Uh. This isn't it. This is wrong! Damn it, you bitch. You thought you could trick me? What? No, I... I wouldn't try to... Oh. You're dead, aren't you? Yep. A ripperoni, pepperoni. Alright, so that was the wrong gem. Memo, I can't read it. Go back into the back room with the pink gem. Yeah, what if I wash the jewel? Oh, the pink came off. So it was a fake. So all these are fakes, so what the fuck? How, um... You can't read any of the stuff that's been there? I can't. What if you put it into the microscope? Uh, I don't know. It just says you can't read what this says. I think it's just because I can't comprehend the language. Well, can you ask somebody to translate things for you? I don't know. Maybe. I'm assuming you looked up a guide or something. There's still basically no guides online, which is the rough thing. But now, I don't even have um. the clear one in my inventory. So you say so. that there's no guide, but I have a guide open right now. Well then. Which is why I told you to go to the back room with the pink thing. The thing is, is that you're supposed to be able to read the memo, but... Now, did I miss something earlier that meant that I missed the opportunity to be able to read the memos? I don't know. Uh, 
Oh, I guess you can have Lullaby read it. Ah, oh, okay. So now I gotta go all the way back to where Lullaby is. Hey, Lullaby. Um... I know I can't read what it says, but I was... Maybe it was the boogeyman? Hmm. Memo. You can't read what this is. And trying to get him to... This is the one I found by the stairs, but he won't read it. So unless somebody else is supposed to read the one that was by the stairs? Maybe like one of the dust clouds? You picked up one of the glass shards when you broke the thing, right? Yeah. Okay. Um... Oh, did you get notice too from the wall in the back room? Which back room? The back room. I... The one where you washed the gem. I don't think I did. That's the note he has to translate for you. Okay. There. Can you read what this says? It's uh, it's from the jewel harvesting room. It's how to use the suction machine. Push suction just got on target's head and press button. All right, so now go do that, I guess. Yeah, I guess I gotta go remove a jewel from something. No, you just you go back um, and you use the machine to make. The jewel that you have, pink. Alright. It's raid time, so I have to migrate systems. Raid! No, raid. Oh. Raid! <laughs> have fun. Bye, okay, Delta. Thank you. Yeah! Uh, yeet. That was the saddest yeah, yeet. I think I made a pink jewel. Out, yep. of, out of my own brain. Now you should save. I did. Okay. Backtracking! Backtracking! Mr. Unicorn, I'm here. I brought a pink jewel. Oh, hold on. Is this jewel yours, Sophie? Yeah, I made it. Is that not good? Um, no, it's fine, but... Maybe I did something kind of bad. Eh? Huh? Oh, nothing. Thanks. I've been lucky to see this. What did you this. say? 
He said maybe he did something bad. Oh. What's this weird oh, colored no. rock? It's a limp stone and has special powers. When you touch it, you go all weak and limp. Great, isn't it? What's the good of this? How does this help me stop the Sandman? First of all, how am I supposed to hold it? Oh, you can ask the dwarf about that. I'm sure you can make it into something you can use. Dwarf? Very good at making things, I assume. You know him well. He lives in the case west of Sandman's house. More open minded than Sandman, so he should do it. Alright, I'll ask him. I'll give you the stone in this bag for now. Wish you for good luck, Sophie. Hey, Unicorn, are you going to keep that jewel? Huh? No, I just wanted to see it, but if you need it, I'll give it back. Do you? Kenny, let him keep it. Let him keep it? Yes. Alright. I don't need it. I don't know anything about jewels. Just keep it. Really? I'm not giving it back later. You sure? Yeah, better than the one who wants it has... Better that the one who wants it has it. I'm not really interested in jewels and stuff. Hooray, thanks, Sophie. Is that like the equivalent of like my virginity or something? I don't know. All I know is that if you took it back, you would only have the option between bad endings. Fair enough. Someday. And I'm not about to have you get to an ending, have it be bad, and then have to go all the way back. <laughs> Fair enough. Alright, I gotta go catch glimmers in a cage. Which I'm assuming the glimmers are the... I was saying, uh, pretty sure it's those. Wow, Kenny. <laughs> you chased that one for so long. Don't worry about it. I got all the fairies. Is it fairy rescue if they're literally just in a jar, basically? <laughs> got hit with the jump scare of meeting our friend. Man, Dwarf just tried to tell me to take a nap. And I'm like, um, I can't sleep. Apparently fairies know everything about humans. With the guy you like. Oh, are you going to finally admit that you like David? Or is there another guy? That's our father. What? No, it's David. David with his girlfriend? Probably. Hmm. Yeah, she thinks David doesn't like her. Oh. Oh. David was the first person she really liked. Man, Dwarf's making a good point about the fact that you can think about seeing people you don't like in a bad way, but that doesn't necessarily mean you're a bad person.
Why did he know my mom? He knows your mom? Is that what you just said? Yeah. Huh. He literally was like, your hands are nice and soft, it's just like with your mom. But for some reason, I didn't react to the mom comment. You know where you're supposed to be going now, or? Yep, it's the Sandman house. It's Sandman. What? Dude just bolted. Ah! Go to the room of the fire breathing stick. Where are you going? Kenny? Uh. The thing I was looking at told me I should go talk to the unicorn. <laughs> Apparently, there's an achievement for it. So, I'm gonna go talk to the unicorn real quick. Yo, what up? Wah, that hurt. What's wrong? You got a big lump on your head. I mean, not your horn. Sandman beat me up, and he took the pink jewel after you gave it to me and everything. So, the Sandman took my jewel? What an asshole. Alright, so you said I gotta go back to the five th fire breathing room? Yeah, it says to the fire breathing statue room, which is right from the emerald flame room. Whatever that means. Help, help. What happened? The statue fell. I can't move. Heavy, heavy. I'm assuming it's this. Um. Yeah, to help the dust. How do I help the dust? Stick. Stick. I'm out, I'm out. Thank you, Sophie. Thank you. Are you hurt? I'm fine. Oh, you, Sophie. Lifesaver, Sophie. I'll give you this good thing, as thanks for helping me. What the? These are pretty big for glasses. Read. You can read. Wear those you can read anything. They're Sandman's, but Lifesaver Sophie could have them. Oh, so now I can read the memos and shit. Yeah, now you don't have to ask him. So, like... Uh, now you have to go to the world map room. Alright. That one is the one after the one after this room. It's the transition. It's the second room between the two mirror maze rooms. A hole. Puzzling yep, machine. Yep, you gotta go down that hole. Um. Yeah, probably the unique hole. You see a ladder. Yeah, I was Go down. I didn't know this, that there were holes underneath the map. I only saw the, like, other map. The, oh, the other hole. I got a key to somewhere. Yep, the somewhere key. It unlocks the door in the statue room. But first you have to collect sleeping sand ingredients. From the first and second floor areas. Okay. So, time to go back to the first and second floor area. So time for even more backtracking. I feel like I'm mostly done with this game at this point, right? I'm probably wrapping um, up the tail end. I think so, yeah. Alright, because if I feel like I'm close, then I'll probably just finish tonight. Fair. Because, you know, normally I would be in extreme in three minutes. Alright, so I'm assuming... Alright, so the first thing you need to do is put a piece of... Cry gel in the empty bottle. Whatever that is. I don't know what it means, so... Well, I have an empty bottle. <laughs> Maybe it's that thing? Well, I can't use the empty bottle as an item. Uh, 
Um. The blue walking stain. Yeah. That's what that thing was, right? Yes. Yeah, you're gonna have to catch that in a bottle somehow. Which is weird, because it won't let me use a bottle. How to make sleeping sand. Boil a pot of water with red flame, grind up a snort of fruit, boil the snort of fruit and cry gel fluid. When broth turns blue, put a catalyzed tail. When broth turns yellow, pour in sand making machine. Sorry, did that hurt? Alright, so I had to put on I had to put on the glasses in order to read the memo in order to be able to do all this stuff. Alright, so that's step okay. number one. So you got it? Yes, I got the cry gel. Okay, then you have to get a snore of fruit. Which is probably the fruits over in the top left. A white flower of red fruits. Is a snore of fruit? Seems to match the description. Take a fruit. All right, next. And then in the kitchen, you have to cut off a catter lizard's tail with the shard of glass. All right. Well, that's probably the burnt lizard on the table. All right, got the tail. Okay. Now that room where you kept banging your head against the statue. Yep. Go back there, because the key you picked up is for the door behind it. Okay, do I need any other ingredients, or no? Uh... Like no, because it says anything? that... Yeah, it says that you've got everything, and that at one point you're gonna get prompted to grind that flour into powder. Okay. But I'm assuming that's in the other room. Probably. Statue for unlocking is this way. Tooth Fairy, Nixie, why are you two here? Hey, so if we were just sitting down to tea. Isn't this Sandman's house? Can you just come inside like that? Can't you come and go as you please? Sandman's house is a place for everyone to gather. It's comfy and such great tea, too. Tea with Nixie's a bore, but Dwarf's not here. Guess the tea's good enough that I could tolerate an old water wench, eh? Say what, you toothless grandpa? Same to you. I don't want to drink tea with a coot. I guess I have no choice with no handsome men around. Hee <laughs> hee. Hey, finally a smile, Sophie. Much cuter like that, you know? Oh, oh, really? Oh, yes, so much better than that irritated look you had. Thanks. Fairy seemed pretty busy with work, but uh, from what I hear, you seem to be having fun. I'm kind of jealous. You bet it's fun. Rotten tea, sure, but I don't mind it. Oh, yes, I do I do visit the human world at times, but this world's a clear winner for fun. Well, how about staying here? Well, I have much fun if you go back, will you? Uh, well, good luck to you, Sophie. We'll be here watching how things go. Hope it goes the way it wants. Alright, it's been a bit, so I'm gonna save. Um. Yeah, but we should be close to the end, so I'm just gonna come into the bit and try and finish. I use the somewhere key. Alright. So, what do I do now? Alright, in this room, you have to get the leather gloves from the counter. Got him. Um, you use them on the red candle to carry the flame to the pot.
All right, there we go. And then you're gonna grind the snore f uh, floor of fruit in the milling machine. Okay. Uh, snore floor of fruit. Grind it up. Uh, when you're done doing that, you're gonna climb the ladder and check the pot. Checking the pot. It's uh, put in the powder and the fluid from the bottle. And then it's what, when it turns yellow at the tail? When it, when the broth turns blue, which is a four color changes from the initial white, you put in the tail. Alright, I did it. And then you grab the bowl on the left and use it on the pot to bring the broth into the funnel. in the funnel. Yeah, and then you go push the button and put the sleeping sand in the sack from the sack storeroom. Not a good thing I grabbed the sack. Put the sleepy sand in the sack. Saving. Alright, now what do I do? Alright, now you're gonna go back to that room that used to have the giant emerald flame in it. Okay. And you're gonna raise that lever again so it comes back. Alright then. here. Yeah, now you're going to use the leather gloves to pick up the flame. And after that, you can put the lever back down again. Got an emerald flame. Lowering the lever again. Uh, you're gonna go to the small room with the candles left in the hall before the fire breathing statues and you're gonna light them with that so the one so right after this the ones before the fire breathing statues yeah because they're already lit it says go to the small room with candles so it's not really a room, that's a corridor. You said before the fire breathing statues, right? Oh, there was one on the left. Alright, let them both. Staircase created. Alright, what do I do now? In the secret room, you're going to put on the translation lenses and the diary. Fair enough. Looks like a diary. Oh, I'm so sleepy. I'm so sleepy I can't stand it. How many centuries have I gone without sleep? Before when the world was flat, when night fell all at one time, I could just work at night and sleep during the day. I was so pleased with my job. Now the world is round and night is everywhere. Wherever, wherever it's day, it's always night on the opposite side. For a world where night is always full, I cannot sleep. For if I sleep, then the humans will be sleepless. I feel blessed when I can watch humans in peaceful sleep, but I can no longer properly enjoy it. If only could I have a wink of such happy sleep myself. I've had enough. I've become so tired. I'm so sleepy. I can't help it. Create a machine to stop time. I'll stop time in the human world and put them all to sleep. Forever. Yes, but only for a little while. Only for a little while. I completed the eternal sleep sand. I stopped time and sprinkled it on the human world. Most humans fell asleep, but it seems not all. Those with unease, anger, sorrow. How sad to be unable to sleep. I will create a lullaby for their seek. For the eternal sleep they deserve, I'll clear up their grief. Humans have the right to be happy as they sleep. That meddling, idiotic unicorn has brought a visitor to this world. Sophie Grundler. The girl with a smile like a goddess of the sun. 
She, too, is one of the sleepless humans. Even my creation lullaby was ineffective. I must send her to sweet dreamland soon. That is my mission. Sandman. And lullaby. Made it here, huh, Sophie? Is that you, lullaby? What happened to... No need to be in that form anymore. Of course, I'm just a lullaby, so I don't have any form. Seems like something happened with you, Sophie. You were glaring at me before, but now you have a much kinder look. Well, because you looked like David. Do you not hate me now? No, I don't. What about David? How should I know? Lullaby. So the same man was troubled and sleepless, too? That's right. He's so serious. Doesn't know how to take a break. That's what led us to the current situation. And now I'm crying over the Sandman. I feel so bad for him. How hard must that be? Sleepless for centuries because of humans. Fairies are hard workers, so the Sandman could never sleep. He had to stay up and keep working. <sighs> Hello, bye. What do you think I should do? It's up to you, Sophie. No! I don't know what to do anymore. I don't want to sleep forever, but if I stop him, Sandman can't sleep. He'll still be suffering. Listen, Sophie, didn't your mother always tell you? Do what you want to do. I know what you'd want deep in your heart, but you have to realize it for yourself. What do you want? I have to stop the Sandman, but... The Sandman was in the long corridor earlier. Go meet him. Think it over, Sophie. Think about what you want. It was in the long corridor? I'm going to advise you to save right now. I mean, it makes sense. It feels like this is, like, the end. Did I go the wrong way? Yeah, I went the wrong way. A letter. Huh, I can't read this without the glasses, it's just plain English. I passed you many times, unfortunately, we don't even understand each other. I prepared a special sleeping safe for you. Surely, with the sand, even you will be able to slumber. I shall be waiting at the top of the castle. I hope you will not run away. The stairs are very old and full of holes, so please take care not to hurt yourself, my dear. Sandman. Sandman. Alright, I'm definitely gonna save after that, too. I believe in you. The only other thing you need to know from this guide is that uh, when he's down to 10 health, you use the sleeping sand on him. Fair enough. Sandman. It was hard not being able to sleep, right? I understand. I've been suffering the same way. Really, I'd want to be put to sleep too. I wonder how good it would be to forget all the bad things to sleep. But I don't want to sleep forever. I want to wake up, even if it might be a bad day. I'm sorry, I can't understand, Sandman. This is the only thing I can do. The game forces me to save here anyway. Good. The game knows. Alright, got him down to 10. Now quick, use the powder. Use the powder. Oh. You're running out of time. I have ten seconds to make the decision, I guess. I have used the powder on him. Good night, it's a Sandman. You don't have to put up with it anymore. Take a nice rest. Sophie. Did but you Sandman become the new Sandman? Maybe. I couldn't kill him. He put up with so much for humans. He just wanted to sleep. How long will he sleep? Who knows? He's been up for centuries straight. Maybe he'll sleep for centuries too. I see. What is it, Sufi? Sufi. Maybe it was all that effort. 
but I feel really sleepy now. Sophie! It's no good. I'm just too sleepy. If I fall asleep now, if I can't wake everyone up, will all the humans die in their sleep? No, they won't die. Time has stopped for them. They'll just keep sleeping. That's good. If I, if I can wake up, I won't just put up with the bad things. I'll get back at Regan, and I'll tell Anne a thing or two, and Papa, I'll apologize to him. And also, I'll, I'll try to be friends with David. I'm sad I never even told him. Now we can be friends. I just want to have fun with him. I wonder if David thinks of me as his friend. Of course. You should know how best how nice he is. There's so much I wanted to do. I want to think about tomorrow, but I'm too sleepy to stay up. Well, if I turn into me in a cute dress? Or is that my mom? That's... Yeah, he changed into mom. Shh. Quiet, dear. None of the word. There's nothing to worry about. You don't have to fear any monsters in the closet. I'll be right here. Is this supposed to be your mom? Yes. Okay. She looks just literally just like bed. you. Yeah, I thought it was just me in a dress, but no, it's my mom. That's honestly what I thought at first. That's why I asked. <laughs> Sophie, say it for me. Okay. Good night, Mama. Slip. Crying slip. Oh, lullaby took the form of your mom. Okay. Yeah. Makes more sense. I thought you were going delusional. I'm not going to lie. I mean, fair enough. Yeah, Sandman woke up. Now he's carrying me away. He's probably bringing you back home. Probably. That's exactly what he's doing. Maybe he'll finally restart time. He's got such tiny hands! <laughs> yeah, yeah, he does. How did he carry you with... Uh... Maybe his arms are big, just his hands are tiny. Morning? Am I back? Was it all a dream? Time to put on my clothes and go to school. Oh, hey, Dad. Papa? Weren't you staying at work? Morning, Sophie. I was working, but I fell asleep. I just got back now. Hmm. Wait, Sophie. Isn't there something you want to tell me? What? What was that call from the school about? I never got a call. I've never gotten a call from Sister Mary before. What in the world happened? You didn't do something bad, did you? I don't know. What do you mean you don't know? Listen, Sophie, I... I said I don't know! I didn't do anything wrong. But why did you get called? Just think about it. But not like you would know. 
That's right, you wouldn't know. Because you never pay attention to me. Just work, work, work. Never spending time with me. When was the last time we ate together? Okay, when was the last... Uh, when, when did you last say good night or good morning? you never even done that for me. I... I'm not a good kid. Because my selfishness made you... Made you push yourself again. Sophie! Fuck, I'm tired. Oh no, that's not good, Sophie. Your hair's all red. Did you hit your head? Are you bleeding? Oh, right. That's just a regular color. Silly me. Shh. Killer. Is your house built on a cliff or what, Regan? Huh? Just look at that hair. It's like you got into a tornado and the tornado won. But you live on a windy cliff that might explain a few things. Like what a blowhard you are. What, what are you girls laughing at? Hey, what's gotten into you? What's gotten into you? I'm the only one you can ever show off in front of. You've always been Regan the blubbering crybaby. You? Wah! Hey, stop it, you two. What's this all about? M my word, what happened here? Miss Grundler, Miss Blumberg, you're coming with me to my room this instant. You first, Miss Grundler. I quit being your sandbag. If you make fun of me, I'll pay it back a hundredfold. And nobody's making fun of my mom's red hair. I decided I'll fix my own problems. I'll do what I can about the things I don't like. How about you do the same? If you swear to never bully me again, I'll gladly talk it out with you. Like old times. Sophie! Why? Why did you do that? That That's so mean to Regan. Does it matter to you, On? I'm the one being teased. I, I do care, Sophie. Then why did you only ever watch? You said you were worried, but you just stayed quiet. You were just glad that it meant you weren't being a tar you weren't be targeted, weren't you? N no, I, I wanted to help, but... Liar! Just tell the truth. Say you were too scared. Sophie! I'm sorry. I was the one who told you that. That I was fine, so you shouldn't worry. I really did want someone to help, but I put up with it so you wouldn't worry. I thought you might not be my friend. So I was the liar. But I'm not doing that anymore. I won't let Regan get the better of me. I'll send her insults back and answer if she picks a fight. You might not like that, but if it's okay with you, I'd like us to stay friends. I'm disappointed in you, Miss Grundler. A scuffle in the middle of the classroom? As a young lady, you should be ashamed. Well, I don't know what happened myself. Such violent behavior is so bef unbefitting of you. It's like what a little kid would do. Do you remember the passage from Job at my sermon? Enduring suffering heightens our merit. Hardship is no reason to use force. I'm no saint. And why is that? I can just grin and bear it, but does that mean I'll be repaid? Greater merit? Am I really supposed to just pull up and pull it, put up with all my hardship for that? Not even. Screw putting up with bad things to be called a saint. I don't want to be a saint. I just want to be human. It's far more important to be able to sleep at night, to do everything I can, I can day by day, and to sleep looking forward to tomorrow. Are you talking back to me, Miss Grundler? Do you think it's right to childishly do as you please? Do you think God would approve? And why can't you be a child? And why can't you be a child? What was it? The kingdom of heaven belongs to those such as thee? Do not raise such quibbles with me. What am I saying is that your attitude is... I don't mind if God doesn't care for me. Because ever since I was little, I know I've had someone watching over me. I will be telling your father about this. He may be busy with work, but this I cannot overlook. I'm going to have a long talk with him. Do what you will, sister, but he won't be available today. I have important business with him. Miss Grundler! That sounds like you're about to murder him. Like, that's literally what that sounds like. Like, yeah. straight plans to murder. <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised. 
Papa? Did this you is not supposed to, to be the happy ending, so I'm a little lost. I took the day off. I see. Well, I mean, you're finally standing up for yourself and being able to do what you can. Sophie! Uh, I'm sorry um, for not realizing how you felt. I, I thought you hated me. You're in high school now, and I wanted to be close, but I thought you'd be annoyed. I'm busy at work, true, but I convinced myself if I just kept working, you could be happy. But I guess I was misguided. I didn't know how lonely you felt. I'm truly so f sorry, Sophie. C can you forgive your papa? I'll, I'll be praying for the day I can. Sophie. Oh, they hugged it out. I'm sorry for the awful things I did. I love you, Papa. I was scared to sleep in an empty house. I worried over things that were hiding in the closet like I was a little kid. I don't want to be alone. Papa, stay with me. Of course, Sophie. You're my precious daughter. Today's the end of a long, cold war between us. How about we go out for something to eat, Sophie? Sorry, Papa. Hold that thought. There's somewhere else I want to go. The answer is yes, just give me a second. Ow, oh, jeez. What'd you do? I fell asleep watching TV at your place, so my neck's really sore. I wonder your neck looked crooked. Haha, <laughs> I get it. David! Hey, Sophie, long time no see. Alright, I should introduce you. This is Shirley, my fiance. Nice to meet yeah. you, Sophie. I've heard about you from David. Hi, Shirley. Nice to meet you, too. Huh, you seem pretty happy. Something good happened? Well, there's a lot I want to talk about. A lot has happened, and a lot has changed. With Ann, Regan, Papa, and also, the Sandman. Sandman? Feels like I've heard of that. What was it? He's a fairy, David. A sleeping fairy. He uses his sand to put people to sleep. Well, that sounds like a lot, lots of fun, Sophie. We're going out to dinner, so do you want to come? You could tell me about it there. Yeah, that sounds great. Sure, let's go. Weren't you going to have dinner with your dad? She's having first dinner with them and second dinner with her dad. She's not a fucking hobbit. <laughs> she is now. I guess. <laughs> and the Sandman oh. looks on from his kingdom. With eyes no longer bloodshot. So ends the tale of the Sandman. Made up? Of course it isn't. You remember it, don't you? Thought you were asleep. You remember a night that felt like eternity. That night was the night you slept while the Sandman stopped time. Now close your little eyes. I'll tell you another story tomorrow. Good night, my little dear. Woo. Happy end one. You, Don't stay up too late. You did it. Happy ending. Happy ending. Didn't get a. Didn't get the bad ending. Just died a couple times. Yay. All right. Technically, um, in this walkthrough, there's like bonus stuff, but it would be too long, I think, to do all right now. Yeah, there was the the guide on Steam was like a hundred percent like get all the achievements kind of guide. Yeah, so. I ended up finding the one I followed wasn't on stream, on Steam. Sorry. You found it somewhere else. Yeah, yeah. a thorough walkthrough. Yeah. Um. So I don't think I beat the Crooked Man last time around, which granted that one was, that one definitely felt longer too. Like the way that one was set up, it was more like chapters and individual stories and whatnot. Um. Shred kills, and kills is spelt with a Z. Alright. Um, yeah, so, as, um, I'm gonna let this run, because at the beginning of the game, if you notice, uh, it mentions that you can't, if you're gonna post videos of this, you can't skip the end credits. Hmm. Um, which makes, makes sense, sense, because even though you can buy it here, you can also get it for free online still, I think. I think the the creator has their own like website for it. Um, Maybe. But just as like a way of like 
kind of properly crediting people and making sure that nobody misses out on their their just do uh you know credit and props <sighs> oh god I'm sorry for yawning so much congratulations on beating the sandman and thank you for playing to those who also played the crooked man you have my additional thanks this game differed in every way from its predecessor. Apologies to those who were expecting a TCM-like story, but I've been planning this since starting the last game. I'm very glad to have finished it. The Something Man series currently has four games in it. The story and mood differ depending on the man, so I hope people will try the other entries. Again, congratulations and thank you for playing. Uh, I think this is just going to linger like this until I hit enter. So, this is going to be the screen I end it and uh, everything on. Nice little happy cool. lullaby playing. Um, thank you all for watching, as for always. Um, Dev, thank you for the help at the end. Much appreciated. No problem. Uh, please give my lovely moderator uh, some love. You can follow her on Twitter, Instagram, uh, and Facebook. Uh, just search up Volpecula and you'll find her. Uh, if you don't find Volpecula, look Volpecula17. You'll find her. Um, she posts art. Um, she does good shit. And, yeah. Um, Sky was also here. Uh, I think Sky's still on Twitter at Sunny Soy Latte. Sky's sleeping. Sky's probably been sleeping for the past, like, hour of the stream. I'm gonna be honest. Um, <laughs> but yeah. Um, as per usual, the likes, the follows, the subscribes, all the free stuff to help support the channel in any way, shape, or form. Uh, Twitter and Instagram is where you can follow me at SSB Kazarian, but never Snapchat, and you know why. <laughs> Screams because you steal that from Will. I steal it. I steal half my shit from everybody. My actual ending I... line is stolen from some call me Johnny because I'm fucking unoriginal. And oh. also, shout outs to some com call me Johnny. I love that man's content. He is so like informative and like thoughtful in his reviews and whatnot. Go give him a uh, a a follow on YouTube. Give them a subscribe. Um, but as per always, thank you all so very much for watching. Have yourselves a fantastic night and take care.